for example, you see the patient who came to your clinic with digestive disorder, that must be uh, taken into account because this is the indication, this is the whole body problem because you deal with digestive disorder. And also the pain um, uh, on the stomach meridian, slightly on the left, this is pain near the belly button, on the level of belly button, waist level. And you see, okay, this pain goes through the stomach and spleen meridian, around stomach and spleen, or in between. So you think that I can apply the Tai Yin Yang Ming pattern, because I can tackle the digestive disorder as such, as a general treatment, applying to this local problem. How to recognize it? When would you do this? The criteria number one, the digestive disorder, digestive complaint, anything with the stomach, indigestion, uh, vomiting, nausea, not clear mind, according to eight principle, according to Chinese diagnosis, the not clear mind, foggy head, for example, it belongs to Yang Ming because it's a dampness, the fluids are not processed. Yes, so stomach is plain are involved. So you think, oh yeah, I understand, that's a stomach and spleen. This is Yang Ming disorder. And wherever is dampness is Tai Yin. But the enormous help we receive from pulse diagnosis. When you start taking pulses, and according to Jimmy Chang pulse diagnosis, and in this class we're talking about only Jimmy Chang pulse diagnosis system, you remember we never take pulse when the hand is up because it's not possible to um, investigate the pulses in this position. You keep it slightly on the side. And uh, Sun and Guan, they, they are kind of scattered. So what means scattered? You can't cl cl clearly feel the, the artery. It's a bit like wave. You don't see the borders. The artery must be like, mm, like a thin rod. So you can see the borders clearly. But when you take the uh, right soon and you see it's like mashed potatoes, you can't feel it. So uh, the right soon belongs to lung and large intestine. So you say, oh wow, these are two are not well. It means phlegm straight away. Then you can go to right guan and you feel that you press a bit, but it doesn't rebound, it's weak. So you press and it, it, it just goes under your finger. You don't see the strength of this pulse. So you say, okay, this is stomach. The right guan is stomach and spleen. So it's so weak. It needs to be supported. So with two positions, only on the right side, this is right with this is Sun, this is Guan, and this is Chi. If this pulses, you can't feel much, it's like mashed potatoes scattered. Dr. Jimmy Chan call it scattered, or it can be very weak, it may not be scattered, but weak. You just press a bit, and it doesn't. Um, rebounds and the guan is weak too you press it disappears or it can be like mashed potatoes scattered Tai Yin Yang Ming and the rest is more or less okay they can be a bit scattered but these are two of the most problematic pulses and it's Tai Yin Yang Ming longer 
large intestine, stomach, spleen are out of balance. So you don't think, you just do it and the patient gets better. Later on is a chapter three when we speak about um, meridian conversion, we will study how to tackle the whole system with eight points. Okay, is that clear? Beautiful. Question. How about if the patient comes and uh, doesn't have any, you know, one symptom that could point out? How about if it's just general cause with lots of symptoms? What do I do? That will be meridian conversion. That will be the chapter number three that we will study. Mm -hmm. So to use this, I kind of have to pinpoint one symptom that the patient complains the most. Yes, or you do ashy points. Any ashy points, any ashy points on each meridian. You just do ashy. Mm -hmm. But the meridial conversion, you must to learn. Because merid without meridian conversion, you're not able to practice. When we choose the global patterns, also when there are multiple pains or multiple discomforts which belong to one particular channel. For example, you have a patient who comes with digestive pains on the side, on the spleen meridian. He has a sore throat, a little bit like a lump. It's difficult to swallow. He has um, a bit of sinusitis and general nausea. You think, oh, that all belongs to Yang Ming, perhaps. So instead of doing multiple, putting multiple needles on the same channel, you think that, okay, I can do the global pattern and apply it to this particular disorder. But I think that I can um, give you the points for the uh, meridian conversion. Later on, we'll, I will explain why we choose these points, but I will give you the points so you can use these points to treat any disorders digestive disorders or respiratory disorders just with eight needles just write down these points can you see this if i write it here over here uh -huh. so for young ming disorders meridian conversion will be lung five and nine large intestine large intestine three eleven stomach thirty six forty three and spleen three and nine so if the patient came with general sickness without any symptoms pronounced it's just general cold but you see you take the pulse and you see that on the right hand soon and guine are the most problematic pulses the most and you when you take the left you see that the liver is okay it's a bit pounding but it's not so it's more or less okay and this is the worst, so tagging young men. When the liver will be the problem, will come later.